Nelson Chamisa, the head of the Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, argues that as MPs discuss the Electoral Amendment Bill, they should advocate for voting rights, diaspora voting, and an audit of the voter list. Chamisa stated in a string of tweets, today, Parliament is debating the Election Reforms and Amendments Bill. May Zimbabwe never pass on this unique opportunity to address all the issues that threaten the validity and credibility of our elections. It's crucial to take into account the right to vote, particularly the diaspora vote, access to, and audit of the voters' roll, which must be reviewed, certified, and signed off by all contending parties and candidates before to the election. As MPs prepare to discuss this bill, Jamisa recommended that the MPs talk about the timing of the results announcement, voter and vote security, and preventing chiefs and other traditional leaders from intimidating voters into going to the polls. He said that no election should ever involve food distributions as a form of voter outreach. Over the years, the opposition has called on the government to enact electoral changes that will guarantee Zimbabwe as free, fair, and credible elections. Uneti Kolengan Debeli responded to Chumisa's comments by dismissing the CCC leaders' calls for extensive election reforms. Vote from the diaspora. Is that anything that the constitution addresses? As it is not mentioned in the constitution, why would it appear out of nowhere in the Election Act? Do not misunderstand, it is the correct thing to do. I am simply unsure if it is being addressed at this level, though. Every act of parliament must be in accordance with the constitution, if it isn't, it will be ruled to be unconstitutional. There are ideals and real-world problems. But, a person who went by the name Webster said, Every Zimbabwean has a right to vote wherever they are as long as logistics are supplied, thus diaspora voting need not be in the constitution. In his response, Chief Michael stated that voting in Zim is based on wards and constituencies. And we don't have these for the diaspora. This is the fundamental reason why there is no diaspora vote. The system must therefore accommodate for such, which is why it must be considered here. Due to logistical difficulties, ZANU-PF has already rejected the unworkable notion that Zimbabwe hold a vote among its diaspora. According to CCC, the Electoral Reform Bill should improve the look of the ballots while also assuring a smooth transfer of authority in the announcement of the results of the presidential election. As reported by the Standard Daily, the Electoral Alteration Bill calls for the elimination of the driver's license as identification for voting and the disqualification of those who have been convicted from running in elections.